All right, Hockey Middle School, welcome to a brand new HMS today. I'm today's host, Anna Kumar. So, Valentine's Day is just around the corner in case you thought we didn't notice. But first, let's check in with our Minute with an Admin. Hey, today's Mr. Ocampo. Welcome to Minute with an Admin. February marks Black History Month, and we observe and remember the rich history of African Americans in this country. Let's highlight some of those who have helped shape our country. Rosa Parks invigorated the struggle for racial equity when she refused to give up her bus seat to a white man in Montgomery, Alabama, during the era of segregation. With one simple act of defiance, she sparked a, a movement towards equality and justice. Harriet Tubman was born into slavery in 1822 and eventually escaped. She is famous for her abolitionist and humanitarian efforts in helping enslaved people escape to the North by means of the Underground Railroad. And perhaps no single African American is as famous as Martin Luther King Jr., known as MLK. The third Monday of January is celebrated in his, in his honor, and whole sections of textbooks are devoted to his work in the 1950s and 1960s. A prominent civil rights activist, Martin Luther King preached nonviolent means of protesting the segregation of whites and blacks. These are just some of the people in our history, and as we celebrate and observe Black History Month, it is important to learn, ask questions, and have conversations about this. I challenge all of you to learn about those who have helped shape our history in America and to always remain curious. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you, Mr. Campo. Now last week we asked you, what do you like about HMS? We got some awesome responses and thank you all for taking the time to send them in. Let's check them out. And this is read by Callie Andor. I personally like many things, but one of the most things I like about our school is how hard we work to accomplish everything during this pandemic. They're trying to do so many things to make this a fun and amazing year, and it really seeming to turn out. I like how understanding and nice all the teachers are. A special thanks to HMS TV and our student council group for making amazing content and for including a bunch of activities for us to do. Thank you HMS staff and students for trying to help make this an amazing year during this pandemic. The kind people in our school. They have been trying to include clubs and in as many activities as possible. What I like about HMS is the math class. For five years in elementary school, we have been doing basic concepts such as operations, fractions, decimals, etc. This year, however, we got to work on equations and going on, we will be working on other things. I really love the teachers at HMS. They're all super kind and I've learned so much from them this year. I love Mrs. Mason. She's a great teacher and is funny. I like that it has many different clubs. I can join so many clubs and learn new things. One great thing about HMS is Mrs. Mason and Mr. Rockwood. They're great teachers, kind, funny, welcoming. I don't know how I would survive remote learning without them. I like async work blocks. They ask the students at HMS all about their favorite sport. What I like about HMS is that even though school is remote, it's still fun. First, I like how it's so organized. Second, I appreciate there are so many different teachers for each block. And lastly, it's awesome that they have a newspaper. I mean, that's awesome. I have never seen a school with a newspaper. I mean, what school has a newspaper? HMS is such an amazing school to be at. Fabulous. Hopkins Middle School really is an awesome place. Here's a new phenomenal fun fact. Hello, and welcome to a special Valentine's Day edition of Phenomenal Fun Facts. Today, we have an extra special guest presenter, Olivia Wiedemann. Hi, thank you for having me. Did you know that the tradition of giving Valentine's Day flowers dates back to the 17th century? Another tradition that many people share is giving heart-shaped boxes full of chocolates to their loved ones. Did you know that they were first introduced in 1861 and that 36 million are sold each year? Today, Americans spend lots of love on Valentine's Day. According to National Retail F Foundation, Americans spend a total of $20 billion on Valentine's Day each year. Well, that's it for today, folks. Make it a great vacation. Remember, arms are for hugging. Spread some love. Be kind to one another. And read a great book. Now, we should a question of the day for this week, and we asked, what's your favorite Valentine's edition? We don't have room in the show, so watch the answers on our website. Right now, let's say hello to the birthday people. Happy 
That's all we have for you. See more HMS today on our site, hms.today. Stay safe, everyone, and see you next time. Bye.